our best output is actually enabling clinical trials. Over the past decade, services and expertise provided by the Gene and Virus Therapy Shared Resource have advanced 10 preclinical research projects into human clinical trials. For an academic lab uh, you know, that's focused on doing this, I think that's a, a really good measure of our uh, ability to, to actually translate. The purpose of the shared resource is to provide Mayo Clinic Cancer Center investigators who have concepts for promising virus-based therapies, the resources, and the expertise to satisfy FDA requirements. And so we end up dealing with a whole variety of issues, mainly around manufacturing and the toxicology, pharmacology uh, studies that the uh, Food and Drug Administration require. The Gene and Virus Therapy Shared Resource has three components. There is a viral toxicology pharmacology laboratory, quality assurance, and a viral vector production laboratory. The production lab has been rated as a BL2 containment facility and is well equipped for research in all aspects of biochemistry, molecular biology, cell biology, and virology. Beyond the dedicated facilities for large-scale virus production and clinical-grade drug manufacturing, the resource is staffed with skilled personnel capable of collaborating with the FDA to provide efficacy data, toxicological and pharmacological characterization, well-designed clinical trial protocols, and appropriate institutional approvals. This ends up being quite a, a big endeavor to, to kind of go through and averages about two to three years to try to get all that information and make a clinical grade product that can be used in humans. The shared resource provides services to all three Mayo Clinic sites in Minnesota, Florida, and Arizona.